A system that has so far seen France through its worst public health crisis since the Second World War is one that was already strained even before the coronavirus hit. That, in spite of considerable fiscal outlay, France spends more than most European countries on health care. In 2017, that figure was nearly 260 billion euros, 11.3 percent of GDP, matched only by Germany and well above the EU average of 9.9 percent. Critics argue that the 2003 introduction of so-called activity-based payment, in which medical procedures are assigned a monetary value, has actually incentivized more spending, not less. One place where money is being saved is labor, including that of nurses on the front lines of patient care. French nurses receive some of the lowest pay in the OECD group of developed nations. At around 1,500 euros per month after tax, their pay is below the national average wage. The country's nursing union says that in the five years after graduation, one-third of French nurses quit the profession. Another cost-cutting measure has been a reduction in overall hospital beds, part of a broad international trend aimed at increasing hospitals' efficiency. France now has some 85,000 fewer hospital beds than it did two decades ago, but so does Germany. With six beds per thousand residents, France is behind its German neighbors, but well ahead of Italy, Spain and the UK. Despite cost-saving measures, France's hospital system remains some 30 billion euros in debt. As the government negotiates with health workers over a revamp of that system, it has so far agreed to transfer 13 billion euros of that debt to the state's own balance sheet.